Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey what's up? My name is Caitlin and I have a haul for you guys today and also insane hair. <laughs> like this looks crazy, like more so than normal. Whatever. Um, yeah, so I went to Dollar Tree and Walmart and I got some stuff. So I didn't get okay, like really any beauty stuff, a little bit, but not too much. So sorry if you guys wanted a beauty haul, but <laughs> Um, we'll start with Dollar Tree because I already have the bigger sack on my lap here. Also, totally forgot to change from my last video, so enjoy more of the tie-dye. <laughs> um, but the first thing I got is a bunch of these PCs. Actually, two of these are from a gas station. Like this one is, first of all, this is bigger than my head. This is crazy. This is the Peace T Zero Pineapple Groove. I had never seen this one, so I was like, need that in my life. Love pineapple. I love the look of pineapples, which you guys probably know because by now, but I also love the taste of pineapples. So I was like, yes, please. I love tea, especially peace tea. It's my favorite, but I love that. And the other one I got from the gas station is this one called Snowberry. I have no idea what this is going to taste like. The lady at the counter was like, oh my gosh, it's my favorite. It's so good. So hopefully it's good. I'm going to sneeze. Yeah, I have no idea what this is supposed to taste like, <laughs> but... Here is this one, super cute colors though. Those two were from the gas station and then the rest that I got were from Dollar Tree. So, okay, I got this one. This is the Peace Tea Tea and Lemonade. Also, it's got like little golf tees right there and I just noticed that and I think that's adorable. None of these ones have those. That's so cute, I love that. I actually really like to golf. Oh, he's wearing a golfing mitt too. Golfing glove, golfing mitt. I just say I love to golf and I don't know what this is called. Golfing glove, I'm pretty sure. I have one. <laughs> I don't know what it's called though. I didn't notice that, but that's funny. Um, and then I got two of my favorite one, which I haven't tried any of those three, so I don't know that this will stay my favorite. But mango green tea is my current favorite. I love green tea. It's my favorite, as I keep saying. <laughs> but I love mango green tea, so... I love green tea and then the mango makes it even better. So I love that. Okay, actually the rest of this stack is beauty stuff. So I got another one of these. This is the Kiss Gel Polish. This one actually has a name. It's called Peach Sorbet. I don't know if I'm going to love this color, I'll be honest, but I don't have anything like it in my collection. And I was like, I'm gonna try it for a buck. So here's this, I do love these nail polishes. I got a bunch of them in my last Dollar Tree haul. And I hadn't seen that one, so I picked that one up. I'm just gonna take the rest of this stuff out of the sack real quick and throw that away so it doesn't make so much noise. Okay, um, something else I got in my last one. <laughs> so I got a watermelon one of these. This is like a silicone brush cleaner. I got a watermelon one in the last Dollar Tree haul I did and I was like, I really wish I had a pineapple one. I went to a different Dollar Tree this time because we were out of town and um, got this one but I really really like it it's a pineapple it cleans your brushes it's super cute it was a dollar <laughs> um then two beauty products I got these are both um what is this called bolero yes bolero I think Beverly Hills this is a hydrating facial mist with watermelon and aloe paraben free color free color free cruelty free all that fun stuff I actually had to like do some extensive research trying to find this brand because I could not find anything online, but I finally found it and they are cruelty free. So I can open it. I want to smell it. Mmm, very watermelony. Ooh, smells good. It is definitely going to leave water droplets on my face. I'm scared. I don't know if this is supposed to be. Use all over face to fragrance, moisturize, and, oh wait. Use all over your face to refresh, moisturize, and fragrance your face. Do not eat. Oh my god, it literally says right on here that it's not tested on animals. <laughs> I'm an idiot. But I do want to spray I want to spray it, so we're going to see if this ruins my makeup. I'm so sorry. Mm, that smells really good. It smells very perfumey. Oh, uh, there's some water droplets. Yeah. Not too bad, though. 
not as bad as I was expecting it to be. Yeah, it smells very, very like perfume watermelon, but I do like that. Ooh, it feels a little sticky. Mm, we'll try it out more. Um, then from the same brand, I also got the Hydrating Facial Gel Hydrator Watermelon and Aloe. Um, they had a cucumber -y one too, and something else. I don't remember what the other one was, blueberry maybe, but I wanted the watermelon one, so that's what I got. I was kind of hoping this would be like a, oh, I'm gonna start sneezing from that stuff. Like a dupe from the, for the Ciate watermelon one. Mm. That one smells a lot more aloe than the spray does, which I'm gonna assume this is probably mostly aloe and then like a hint of watermelon, but. Ooh, she's thick. Oh wow. Huh. That blended in like immediately. That feels nice. Like half my hair just cut off. I'm a mess today. <laughs> but, huh. That feels really nice. A little tacky, but that could also be a good thing if I wanted to use it like under makeup. Okay, I'm not gonna that. <laughs> Next bag of stuff from uh, Dollar Tree. I got some stiffs. Let's pull this out of here. I have actually already used some of this, not gonna lie. I bought this stuff a little while ago. But you saw my last video yesterday, you guys know that I was in like a funk and didn't want to film anything. So these have been sitting there for a while. But I got these pins, which I've already clearly opened. Um, these are the smoothest pen ever by Z Grip Ballpoint Pens Advanced Assorted Ink, which I wish I would have read um, when I bought these. I've only tried one of these pens. I don't remember, I think the purple one. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm assuming this is probably pink, but I haven't tried it yet. But I have tried this one and it was purple ink. And I got some paper here. Let's see. Yeah, so it's very purpley, which is fine, but I thought it was black ink. And then this one's pink. I'm assuming the little ball's still on the end. There's like a little plasticky ball that you have to like actually pop off. There it went. Yep, it's pink. Which is fine. I just didn't realize that when I bought them. So <laughs> be aware of that. Um, but I actually got those because I was in the car when I was writing a letter. So it wrote in purple. But next got this adorable makeup brush. This is a powder brush by the brand. Nobody knows because there's no name on it. Um, yeah, it literally just says powder brush and there's nothing else on here. But it was super cute. If I get it open, I'm going to show you guys a closer up view of it. Okay. If I get it open. If is a strong word. If. If it's good. Name that movie. Okay. Ooh, it feels very cheap, but also kind of nice. Um, it's got like all these little like crystally rock things in there of different colors. There's like a tealy mint green, a purple, and a pink. And then hmm. it actually feels pretty nice. I don't know that I would use this for powder. I'd probably use it for contour, but I like this. It's super cute. This was the only one they had. I was going to get more like styles, but this was all they had, but it's Got like a pretty decent weight to it, but you can definitely tell it's like cheap plastic, but for a dollar, I'm not mad at it at all. Next thing I got were these. These are already open. I actually got these for my giveaway winners that I recently did. I just got these little cards to write notes in, and I thought they were cute, and I liked the, what are these called? They're French something. I don't know. The little symbols, but they were very like 20, 2008 vibes to me so i think i had so many shirts with this like fleur to something fleur de france no i don't know it's something but i had so many shirts that had this on there there were like skulls and that and my little emo days so i like those um this is just some tape <laughs> that i got for again for the giveaway so i've already used this too to package my boxes up because i had no tape but yeah <laughs> and then I got some sketch pads. I actually bought three of these, but I wound up spilling juice all over one of them. Actually, it was PC. I spilled PC all over one of them. It was a raspberry one. <laughs> but um, I thought these would be nice. I am actually planning on, 
yeah, I'll just say it. Um, so it's a Christmas gift, but I'm gonna make like my nieces and nephews color books. So I think it's gonna be kind of like, uh, I'm gonna get like binders and just put the drawn pages in the binder like front and then have like empty slots of the plastic so you can stick the pages in there when they're done. Um, is what I'm hoping to do because I don't really know how to make a book but I like to draw as I've said in a few videos so I'm gonna do that I think it'd be cute and I thought this paper would be good for that because it is a decent size hopefully it's not too big for the binders but got two of those there's 40 pages in each of these for a buck not bad at all I did have three but you know is that it that's all from Dollar Tree I don't know where to send anything so they're gonna stay there and then moving on to Wally World. So the first thing I got is a bag full of flowers. <laughs> this is also for a little craft project that I'm gonna do soon, but I just got a bunch of these sunflowers that I'm gonna do something with. So this is literally just a bag of sunflowers. <laughs> I dropped something. <laughs> so there's that. And then, hey, I can't reach anything. Next bag. So bad that I don't even really remember what I got. Okay, I got some books. Um, this is kind of like a little girl's book, but you know, it's like a teenage, yeah, Harper Teen. <laughs> but this is the kind of books I like. I don't know, I'm into like the fantasy, like magical, um, princessy kind of vibes. I'm lame, it's fine. But this is the selection. It's by Kira Cass, which she wrote some mermaid books that I used to love when I was in high school. <laughs> um, Deep Blue, maybe? I only read the first one. I could never find the other ones. But when I saw her name on this one, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll check it out. Because I actually, this is so stupid, but I took a quiz on like, what book series should you read? And this is the one I got. So I was like, it's seven bucks. I really want to start reading again. So... I got it, and if I love it, we'll get the rest. So, there's that. But I do like her as an author. And then the other book I got is this one. This one was $20, so quite a bit more. But this was a Walmart exclusive. This is the the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Um, it's the Hunger Games, like, prequel, I think. I'm pretty sure it's, like, the prequel of everything. But I've read all of the other Hunger Games books, and I've seen the movies. Definitely prefer the books. The movies were good, but... So, yeah, and this is also something Dylan will probably read because he did also like the Hunger Games. I don't know if he read the books, but he did like the movies, so that. And then I got some duct tape. So I actually wound up using this to seal my boxes for the giveaway, but I love astrology. I don't know that I necessarily like believe it, but I think it's really interesting to like learn about. Um, so, I don't know, this is like, the constellations. I also really like stars, like not just astrology, but like astronomy too. I don't know like any of their names, but I love to like look at them. So here is this. Let's see. Can we find Pisces anywhere? Pisces, that's me right there. So got that. It's cute. I also got these. Almost done. I've only got a few things left. So this is also for my project I'm doing soon, but I got a glue gun. Because somehow I don't already own one. I think I always just steal my mom's, but now I have my own. <laughs> so it's just a basic glue gun. It's nothing exciting, but there it is. And then I bought some glue sticks to go in it. I don't know why I keep randomly having an accent, but here's some glue sticks. It's the Gorilla Glue. So yeah, I'm doing a project soon, which I think it's actually for my friend's birthday. She doesn't know about it, but... I'm doing a project soon for her for her birthday which is in september but i kind of want to do like a diy christmas thing so i'm probably going to throw that in with that video so stay tuned to like december <laughs> but hopefully i do that so and then the last piece of the haul slash what did i get all over this already um slash video is this it's just a mirror it's just like a little can I just show you this without showing you everything? Uh, it's just a little mirror that goes on the wall, but it's part of my DIY thing. It was like five bucks, so incredibly inexpensive. So you guys can guess what I'm doing. Kudos to you. But yeah, that is my haul. I feel like I didn't get much now that I'm looking at everything, but that's fine. Um, if you guys enjoy hauls and even non-beauty hauls, then let me know by liking this video. 
and subscribe to my channel and that's it <laughs> i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys